Hey guys, how's it going? So I've got a little question for you guys. What do you think is better? Blueberry bushes or fruit trees? I know, kind of a weird question. Uh, it's something that we have been talking about a little bit on the Farthest Frontier Discord and trying to decide, you know, what is the what what's better in terms of getting your fruits or your berries for your preservist? And we're kind of a mixed bag on that, actually. So let's take a look at the two different setups. And I'm going to leave it to you guys down in the comments below to tell me what you think is better. And I just want to see it's more. I want to see what my community thinks about these two different options. So let's talk about each one and see what the differences are. So we're going to start with the Arborist. Now, the Arborist building is something that, you know, a lot of us are still trying to figure out exactly how it works. Uh, there are there's a couple of people who claim that they can get up to 300 fruit per year from the Arborist. Uh, but a lot of us are not, not exactly sure how they do that yet. The fertility for fruit trees is different than the fertility for farm fields. Uh, and I've seen a few people say something very different from that. Like they're, a, I saw one person say that they put their fruit trees on their crop fields and then they use fertilizer on them. Uh, that doesn't work quite, quite right. This field right here is 91% fertile. And if we take this, you can see that it is nice and bright blue. We've got some uh, bright green over here, some green right here where we had cattle and everything but if we select the arborist building we'll see that it doesn't quite match up the same with our uh fertilities you know this is this is not bright blue it's got a lot of brown uh which indicates no fertility and a lot of yellow and uh, then over here we've got a lot of yellow right here it does have to do something to do with groundwater if we take a look at the groundwater we will see that there is quite a bit of groundwater right here so most likely the fertility for these has to do with groundwater. You want some, but you don't want a lot. Like this right here is very heavy. This is a swampy area. We take our irrigation back off. You can see that it's not good at all, but this is still decent right here. So it does have something to do with the irrigation amount and how much water is in the, uh, in the ground. So it's, it's something that, you know, we're still kind of playing around with it, testing on and everything to try to figure out exactly the best locations for arborists. Uh, but regardless, let's just go ahead and say that you can get up to 300 per year from the arborist. That's if you're doing really, really well with it. Most people I've talked to are getting somewhere in the 180 to 220 range of their fruit. OK, now. That is an entire circle right here. That's a and that's a look how much space that is. That's a that's a large work radius, a lot of trees. Um it's just a lot of space. And plus the the aforementioned issue of trying to figure out exactly where you're going to put them, because it doesn't always seem to work right. Uh this uh, just to give you an idea, this whole area when I was planting these trees here was sh was showing a hundred percent on everything. And then when I planted some of them, they dropped down to 68%. Some of them are still at 98%. This one over here is at 87. But when I was planting these trees, they were at 100% when I planted them. So it's still a little weird. But back to back on track a little bit. Let's just go ahead and say that we can get, let's just say 200 a year out of this big circle right here. Okay. Benefits of fruit. Fruit has a spoilage life of 18 months, uh, which I think is not right. Uh, that might be a bug, actually, as of the time of this recording. Uh, we know that bread has a shelf life of five months. Berries have a shelf life of eight months. Root vegetables have a life of 18 months uh, because root vegetables can last a long time. Don't know about you, but my bananas go bad real fast. So 18 months for fruit seems wrong, but that's what it is right now. So we're going to go with it. So fruit can last for 18 months, but it does take up a considerable amount of space for about 200 crops a year, uh, uh, you know, with, on, on average. OK, so there's fruit. Let's pop over and take a look at some blueberries. 
All right, so here we have my little blueberry farm. Uh, it is kind of spaced out. Um, I'm leaving some paths because I'm going to make a nice little, a cute little, I'm going to make a cute little garden farm out of this thing right here. Uh, but I do have it spaced out, but you could all totally clump it all together in one nice little uh, clump right here. These blueberry bushes right here, I have gathered just from around my settlement. Um, didn't need me to go very far to find them all, found them all pretty easily. And this right here, once these last two are in, is going to give me somewhere around 450 berries from this little setup right here. Let's take a look at the amount of space that it takes up. And we will use the arborist as a guide. So this is taking up what, maybe a, th a I would say maybe just over a quarter. Roughly a quarter of the size of the arborist, just slightly over it. Not exactly a third, but you know, it's about a quarter. About a quarter of the size of the arborist radius for these. And that's with them spread out. Again, compact them in, take up even less room. For about 450. So, arborist trees, about 200. 300, according to the couple of people who said that they have gotten perfect fertility for it, you can get 300 in that whole radius. A quarter of the space for the blueberry bushes, and I can get about 450 out of it. Now, blueberries have the downside of only lasting eight months. So they have a much shorter shelf life than fruit at the time of this recording, which, again, I think is a bug, but yeah, it's neither here nor there. Now, the blueberry bushes can be harvested every year by your laborers. All you have to do is hit H, drag over top of it, and it will stay because the, the, the bushes don't actually go away. They stay there. Uh, so every year, it's around springtime, about this time every year, late spring when the blueberry bushes become available, your laborers will run over there, pick the berries, take them to the root cellar, and drop them off, and you're done. Now, from there... We're going to kind of skip ahead to the tier three because at tier three, you get access to the preservist building down here. And I've got him right here. The preservist building takes glassware and berries or fruit and makes preserves. Now preserves last for 18 months. So now your berries are being stretched from eight months to 18 months. Uh, plus any uh, additional spoilage reduction you have from like root cellars and other places you might be storing them. So, to me, the berries are the better deal, not the arborist. Arborist takes up a lot of room. It's very, very finicky about where you place it. And at the high end, if you're super lucky, you're only going to get 300 out of it. Now, they will last longer. And if you don't have a preservist, the arborist will give you some good food that will last a long time unless they change that, whereas the berries will spoil very quickly. So maybe it's a difference between early game and late game. You unlock the arborist in tier two, and maybe in, from there you can start growing some fruit trees. And then once you have the preservist unlocked, maybe swap over to berries and use those for your preserves and get rid of the arborist. I don't know. I'm leaving it up to you guys. What do you think? What is your thoughts on this? What do you see the difference as uh, between like blueberries and the fruit trees? Uh, do you do fruit trees? Do you not do them? Do you have a, are they a pain in your butt? Do you hate them? Or do you love the berries? What, what do you think? And how, what are your thoughts on this? I am interested to know. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.